the Democratic Party was leached it of its vitality by former President Barack Obama and others in the lead-up to the 2016 election campaign, according to Donna Brazil, former interim chair of the Democratic National Committee. We had three Democratic parties, the party of Barack Obama, the party of Hillary Clinton, and this weak little vestige of a party led by Florida Representative Debbie Wasserman Schultz that was doing a very poor job getting people who were not president elected, Brazile writes in her new book Hacks, the inside story of the break-ins and breakdowns that put Donald Trump in the White House, released Tuesday. Many of the revelations in Brazile's book revolve around the deep debt the Democratic Party was facing at the end of Obama's presidency and the lengths it had to go to to survive a national presidential race. Obama's use of party funds for private pollsters and focus groups drained the party, and Wasserman Schultz's leadership as party chairman failed to address the problem. Clinton then bailed out the party in order to gain control of it, according to Brazil. As reported by the Daily Caller, Brazil said, this was not working to strengthen the party. He left it in debt. Hillary bailed it out so that she could control it, and Debbie went along with all of this because she liked the power and perks of being a chair but not the responsibilities, she said. She wrote. Barack never had seen himself as connected to the party. He had not come up through it the way Joe Biden and Hillary had, but had sprung up almost on his own and never had any trouble raising money for his campaigns.